Hello. Welcome to my Thursday. It's breezy outside and overcast with hot. My body's okay. Neck down. Um, my legs are sore from yesterday's exercising, but my head got too stimulated from yesterday. But we pay for the good days, and I'm paying for it. I mean, my, my brain isn't fully off charts, but half of it feels like scrambled eggs. And my eyes feel like they're being pulled in and trying to be yanked out of their sockets. And Meclazine is not seeming to help. But I still nonetheless had fun yesterday. Enjoyed my... <coughs> day and hope this passes soon but that's the price we pay for a good day I mean I used to make a living in the five surrounding counties singing DJing and doing that what I did yesterday at home is it is stimulating a bad stimulation to my head but when you go and do that when you're invited to do that with friends or at a bar where like I did the friends get together when she passed that puts me into three days to a week of all over issues because if I can have this brain stimulation issues just at home and my house is clean it's ozone clean mold clean allergy clean all that good stuff and I still my brain has stimulation issues from that imagine when you have to go and do it in public at a club at a bar at people's other people's house where and I'm trying to put it in perspective this isn't as bad as it could have been if I had had to go somewhere else and do it because that's dust mold spores people's cologne cigarette smoke all that jazz <laughs> i'm going to use that word today you're inhaling and getting on your skin and then that causes a bad reaction where it's not just your head half of your head like today Half my head is scrambled eggs. But if I had to go somewhere else and do that, my whole body would be in raging pain, muscle twitches, neck stiffness, whole head shut down. Uh, what's that word? I'm here, but my mind is somewhere dis dis separated from reality feeling so uh, this one's not as bad as when I have to go and do ones with friends and stuff like that because that's more chemicals and bad juju I have to have on me and inhale in me and causes bigger reactions and you can't ozone everywhere you go I mean, seriously, you can't. The sad fact is, I used to do that all the time.
for a living and make good money doing it. And just one three hour session at home in a clean ozone mold free home gives me just not major but minimal sucky head issues. I couldn't do the three day two three day session somewhere else. And I had to stop that because it would cause nosebleeds and migraines and bloodshot eyes and just a, a rashes for no reason and not being able to breathe. And that's heart wrenching to know you can't do what you used to do to make a living anymore. So on my good days, I spend time doing what I used to love to do, what I used to make good money doing. But we keep moving on. And we don't relish on the past because we can't go back. We can only keep looking forward. Also, I posted on Facebook about anybody who has Netflix. If you have Netflix, you need to go to the new TV show through Netflix called Afflicted. I'm on... I'm just now starting episode three, and all I've done is cry. It is about a young lady named Carmen who has electromagnetic EMF issues. You have Jameson who has Epstein Barr and Lyme and ME which is myalgic encephalomyelitis, which I have, and I'm pretty sure Jen does too. But I, he also has C, chronic fatigue syndrome, which I don't have that part yet. <laughs> um, and he, he's not been out of his house in two years, and he can't talk and walk, or function, bathroom, nothing. And then you have Becca, who has Lyme, but her most big issue is mold toxicity. Because like I and many of us, mold is in our blood. And she's so sensitive that she it affects her whole body. Um, and then... You've got Jake who has Lyme and multiple co's and that story that's in episode two. That one I, I, I definitely cried through because of his parents, his father, mostly what he said that really upset me. And it, it I'm going to try and if you haven't watched it, you need to. And when 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 you get to Jake. On episode two of Afflicted on Netflix, or you can you can go on Google and go Netflix Afflicted free online, and you can find the 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 the, the show and watch them. If you don't have Netflix, but Jake is and Jameson, but Jake it it, it it'll touch a lot of us because when you hear parents when you're 30 having to live at home and hear what they would prefer to do for for example he don't believe he's that sick and he wants to take his 30 year old son who is so severely chronic Lyme and Coe's go in the room pick him up and sling him in the ice cold pool to bring him a shock of reality And that was heartbreaking to hear a parent and it puts you in reality or a perspective 
of, you know, family members and friends do think that way, no matter how much they care or how much they love you. They have those thoughts. But that is a good show net on Netflix called Afflicted. It, it's about us, guys. And Dr. Horowitz is in it. Unfortunately, infectious disease doctors and CDC is involved putting our not chronic. It's all in our head. All that crap up on the up in there too but there is some good doctors that we all may have seen and personally so that's a good watch if you have Netflix or access to the internet you can find it through Google the TV Netflix show afflicted it, it is a much must watch for either whether you have it or a family member or friend has it to watch and it will open your eyes more for the ones who's not sick and for the ones that are dealing with this get, get a box of tissues because it, it's heartbreaking I did not last night was the first night in many a moons my leg pain didn't bother me and I did not have to wear a compression legging or sock or the knee compression nothing I, 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 I went down to bed at 10 and woke up at 1 wide awake and hot lightning scrambled eggs but not as bad as usual I'm just resting today and hoping the the carousel stop soon because it's got my eyes heavy and burning which is sucks sorry word sucks but it does but this is going to be my my blog for the day because I'm going to just take it easy but it was a praise I enjoyed yesterday and hoping this passes soon but I love you guys May you find lesser pain, lesser symptoms today than you did yesterday or last night. Keep pushing and enjoy the good even though you pay for it later because <laughs> those small windows is sometimes all we have. And we may pay for it later. And then we go, well, let's never do anything on good days. Because it'll give me a worse day. But that's where we have to go, no. I am going to enjoy my good day. Even though it'll cause issues later. Because if we don't, we're not living or trying to live or trying to have some form of normal so I may be 
overstimulated from yesterday in my head, but it was worth it. And I'm thankful and blessed from yesterday's eventful, good, normal, lime sucky day. And I'll pray that everybody has a normal sucky lime day too instead of a bad day. Keeping you all in my prayers. Find your sh sh your sh shimmy, your sprinkle, your sparkle, your shimmy, your shake, and your silver lining. My silver lining is I'm still fighting. I'm still pushing. And I'm not, and I refuse to give up. God willing, I will see you all tomorrow. Till then, I love you all. Be good.